Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to our Sunset Safari from myself, Tristan. And yes, we have, Byron. We've found probably one of my favorite herds that we get to see here, the short trunk herd, which is fantastic. Now, as Byron said, my name is Tristan, and on camera today I've got Senzo, and this is live. It is interactive, which means if you want to ask any questions about anything, not only the elephants, you can do that via hashtag Safari Live or on the YouTube chat, should you want to do so. But it is really exciting because we've come down to Twin Dams, and I was hoping that we would find some Ellies. It's warm this afternoon. It's a pleasant day. The wind has really died down from yesterday and it is the perfect conditions for elephants to have a drink. And no better herd to start a safari with than the short trunk herd. We haven't seen them for the last few days. They seem to have, or well, the last few weeks actually, I haven't seen them for a while. They seem to have moved out of our area, but it's good to see them back, and that's short trunk herself. You can see she's got her trunk in her mouth at the moment, but she'll soon pull it out and we'll be able to see that that trunk is shorter. Now for those of you who are new viewers and do not know who Short Trunk is and why we call her Short Trunk, as you can see there she's got a bit of a stubby trunk. Now, unfortunately I would imagine that that trunk is shorter and the more they struggle the tighter it gets and unfortunately it does do damage to their trunks particularly because there's no bone in there it often just will go all the way through and it leaves this female with a shorter trunk now that hasn't stopped her surviving even though it is short and it will be a little bit of a hindrance she's still in some ways able to do what she needs to do so you can see she's full she's healthy which means that she's actually feeding properly and as you can see by there, she's not even struggling to get water. So what she does is she puts her trunk in. She has to bend a little bit to get her trunk into the water, a little bit more than what other Ellie's would have to. But once she sucks up a few liters of water, you'll find she pushes it out in almost like a jet propulsion. And sometimes you'll find when she's feeling a little lazy that she actually won't bring her trunk all the way to her mouth. She'll bring it up halfway, and then she just shoots the fountain of water inside, which is quite fun to watch. So far, she's just been drinking like normal. But you can see, Ellie's are interesting creatures. They really like fresh water. So when you watch her, you'll see that sometimes she'll just disturb the water slightly. And what she's trying to do is break the surface tension of that water. On the surface tension, you often find dust, particularly at this time of the year where it's windy and dry. There's lots of dust that settles on the top of that water. There'll also be insects and varying other things. Now, before I carry on, there's a grey go-away bird behind me that is complaining bitterly about something. I can't see where it is, but if you can hear in that distance that sound, that is a grey go-away bird that is not happy. And normally when they make that sound, it is either if they've seen a predator on the ground, or they could maybe have seen an owl. And there's been so many owls hanging around the Mulawati, I wonder if there isn't one perched in this big jackalberry that's behind me at the moment. We'll have to go and investigate just now. But I was saying that she'll break the surface tension, and that means that she won't have to suck up any of that dust and debris. She can get to the cleaner water underneath, which is very clever. Now, we're going to sit with our herd because they seem as though they are very relaxed. They're not going anywhere at this stage, and why would you? In warm weather like this, it's the perfect place to rest and relax. And while we do that, I believe Byron has found himself another feather friend as he continues to forge his way to 100 birds in two weeks. <laughs> 